Today we're going to start working with GarageBand. Now GarageBand is pretty easy to find. When you're looking for GarageBand, you're going to find the little guitar symbol. When I click on the guitar symbol, GarageBand is going to open up. With most of the apps, if you get a screen like this, you want to look for the plus sign first. And when you open up the plus sign, that's going to be your starting point. You're going to hit New Song. And you're going to see all kinds of instruments pop up, from smart drums to smart strings to smart bass to keyboards to smart guitars. Then you're going to get to a regular keyboard, regular drums. This is a guitar amp. If you have a guitar at home, it's actually possible to hook your guitar up to your iPad. We're going to ignore that for right now. And when we get over to audio recorder, audio recorder is where we're going to start first. That's a microphone. With this microphone, you can record any voice or sound that's going on around you because your iPad has a built-in microphone. So if I take a look at this audio recorder, I'm going to hit this microphone right here. And let's start with that first. One of the things that I learned before I'm going to be recording is I want to hit this little wrench over here. And I want to turn off these top two things, metronome and count me in. If I don't turn those off, let me turn them back on just so you see what happens. When I go to record, I'm going to hit the little red dot up at the top right here. You'll see this little red dot. When I hit that, hear that tapping? It's recording my voice, but it's also recording that tapping, which for my recordings, I don't want that little tapping in the background. I want just my voice. And this is actually what it'll sound like when you play it back. It's recording my voice, but it's also recording that tapping, which for my recordings, I don't want that little. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my songs. Tap over here, my songs. And I'm going to start here with a plus sign again. And I'm going to click new song. And I'm going to go back to the audio recorder. I don't want that tapping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit over here on the wrench. And the little wrench is the same little wrench from programs like Pages and stuff like that. This brings up the settings. I'm going to turn off metronome and count me in. And I found when I turn those off, I don't get that tapping sound when I record. So now when I hit the record button, I am going to record myself saying some things about the iPad camp and how much fun I'm having with you guys. So I hit the stop button right there. So I hit the red record button to do that. Now I hit the stop button. Now I'm going to hit the play button. When I hit the play button, I am going to record myself saying some things about the iPad camp and how much fun I'm having with you guys. So I'll hit the stop button again. Now here's the cool thing. You see these little tools that pop up here? We've got cool things like small room, large room, dreamy, Telephone, Dry, Bullhorn, Monster, Robot, and Chipmunk. So I can go back right over here, just dragging my little finger to take that little arrow back there. And let's say I want to hear Monster Voice. So I'm going to tap that. Now I'm going to hit my play again. And you'll hear me in a Monster Voice. I can go back and do the same thing. More fun to do it in a Chipmunk Voice. So I'm going to leave the chipmunk voice for now just because the chipmunk voice is kind of fun. 